hello guys hello everyone in my last lecture i was talking about uh, the multicollinearity so what is multicollinearity that has been defined properly it means like uh, for a multiple regression model if we have a uh, two or more i mean we if we have two independent variables that are related to each other in some way or the other then we have the problem of multicollinearity so that was what i talked about in the last lecture and also we also talked about what are the different causes what are the different modes of causes of multicollinearity that may arise in our multiple regression model so today i'll talk a little bit on what will happen to the our estimators or the variances of the estimators or we call it the consequences of multicollinearity on the estimators so it can literally means like what happens so it means like what will happen to our estimators what happens to the estimators of a multiple regression model if we have the problem of multicollinearity that means these two variables x1 and x2 are related to each other in some way or the other then what will happen to our multiple uh, what will happen to our estimators so to begin with suppose we have this multiple regression model that is say just three variables we have two independent variables and one dependent variable so we know if we estimate this equation if we estimate this equation if y is equal to beta naught plus beta 1 x1 plus beta 2 x2 plus ui and if we estimate this equation we we write it like y cap is equal to beta naught cap plus beta 1 cap x1 plus beta 2 cap x2 and we also learned in our class like we or have all, we have already done a practice on that how we estimate the parameters and how we get it so that was beta 1 cap was equal to beta 1 cap was equal to that we did in the class that how we estimated the parameters beta 1 cap is equal to summation x1 y plus summation x2 square minus summation x2 y plus summation x1 x2 divided by x1 square x2 square summation minus summation of x1 x2 whole square now like i told you in the last lecture suppose these two variables suppose these two variables <coughs> x1 and x2 are related to each other in some way or the other x1 and x2 and let's say like x1 is related to x2 by some uh, notation maybe it may be put as beta a uh, theta sorry and again now taking the deviated form since we estimate the parameters by taking the deviated form not that it is x1 and y1 okay not capital y and not capital x so if we take the deviated form uh, originally or first of all if x1 is related to x2 by theta x2 or we are taking the deviated form as small x1 is equal to theta x2 then what happens to our estimators we are going to check for the parameters or the estimators so what will happen to our estimators if we are having this kind of relationship between the two independent variables now replacing this replacing this value of small x1 and with theta x2 putting that in equation 1 okay so if you put this value of equation uh, x1 small x1 is equal to theta x2 we can replace it this way so this x1 is replaced by this x1 is replaced by this x1 is replaced by theta x2 now similarly this x1 x1 is replaced by theta x2 now similarly for the denominator this x1 square is replaced by theta x2 square and again this x1 is replaced by theta x2 so if we do the calculation for this if we do the calculation for the numerator as well as the denominator we will get it 0 by 0 so ultimately your beta 1 cap is 0 by 0 or we call it indeterminate indeterminate or we can call it 
we cannot determine the estimators if we have the problem of multicollinearity or we cannot find out the estimators if we have the problem of multicollinearity similarly for beta 2 if we replace this like the one like this one we replaced with uh, beta 2 then this one will be summation x1 y summation x2 uh, multiplied by summation x1 square just ch change the subscripts just change the subscripts everything will remain the same the denominator will remain the same only the numerators this x2 will be replaced by x1 and just these three variables okay and so if you do that then we also get the same thing that is beta 2 cube also will be equal to 0 by 0 or we call it indeterminate or I mean we cannot find out the value of the estimators okay now let's look at the variance what happens to the variance of the estimators you know multiple regression model having the problem of multicollinearity like I said again now we uh, we have already found out uh, or we already did a solution for this variance formula that means the variance for beta 1 okay so that was sigma u square summation x2 square and the numerator is almost the uh, similarly or the same as the ones we the one we have for uh, estimating beta 1 cap and beta 2 cap that is summation x1 square multiplied by summation x2 square minus summation of x1 x2 whole square now the same thing if we replace if we replace this variance the value of the variance with this x1 is equal to theta x2 in our that variance formula for beta 1 cap so if we replace this what we get is c this is some uh, we have to replace just this since we do not have anything here related to x1 so x1 is just replace it with by x2 we had this small sorry we had this uh, small x1 so if we replace this so if we replace this x2 x1 with theta x2 then of course we are going to get it get this term to be 0 of course that we that we did already here you can just check that here we have already checked done this exercise in our that uh, for a estimator for the variance also it will remain the same since the denominator is the same so ultimately we get it to be 0 and this is of course the same again now if we divide any number by a 0 then of course what we are going to get mathematically is infinite that is what we say okay so finally again for the variance of beta to cable so we will get the same so it will be the uh, numerator divided by the denominator just that this will be x1 and you, if we you replace with theta x uh, x1 with uh, theta x2 then of course your denominator again will be zero so ultimately it will also be infinite or the variance of beta 2 also will be infinite so what we can finally come up to or we can interpret or infer from the above uh, results is that if we have the problem of multicollinearity the estimators will be indeterminate remember that the estimators will be indeterminate and what will happen to the variances the variance of the estimators will be infinitely large so so guys just keep this in mind that if we have the problem of multicollinearity then you will not be able to estimate the parameters or uh, estimators will be indeterminate that is what we say and the variance of the estimators will be infinitely less that's all for today thank you